Uh, welcome uh, class to another lab of electronic circuit and design and in this lab you will be able to trace the response of non-inverting amplifier using the LM741 IC in the Alti Spice but this time that will be working as a voltage follower mod okay now the things that you actually require to perform this experiment is your personal computer that would be having an installed version of Alti Spice, uh, and uh, if you don't have the component name Sam for operational amplifier in your library, you can also use the universal op M from the component section, and few resistors uh, just uh, to take the responses. One will be served as the feedback resistor, and the other one will be the input resistance. Now what is the voltage follower amplifier? The voltage follower amplifier is an operational amplifier circuit that uh, traces the output with respect to the exact values or the input that is being fed to the operational amplifier circuit. So this means that there will be no amplification in the output side. So whatever the uh, input signal is being presented to in the input terminal of the uh, your 741 IC that will be uh, traced exactly with the same phase and the same amplitude on the output side so this is what we actually call as a voltage follower amplifying circuit since there is no uh, sort of the amplification in the output that means the output voltage and the input voltage are same so according to this uh, equation of the gain calculation the ratio of the output to the input since it is same the output gain of this amplification circuit will be one that means that the voltage follower circuit has the unit gain unity gain fine now what are these actually? Uh, they are similar to discrete emitter follower. The other names for the voltage follower are termed as the isolation amplifier, the buffer amplifier and the unity gain amplifier. The voltage follower provides the no attenuation or no amplification but only the buffering process. This circuit has an advantage characteristic of the very high input impedance and very low output impedance that means the input at the input side will be uh, very much higher leading uh, uh, tracing toward the infinite but in practical it's actually in mega ohms and the output impedance will be very low okay okay now consider uh, the operational amplifying circuit as we have discussed in our previous lab so what what is it was actually that there was one feedback resistance that was connecting the output with that of the input side and there was one uh, input resistance over here this one is a feedback resistance and uh, that was let's say uh, it was some sort of uh, the input signal over here mm, uh, let's design it like this battery or you can also connect the AC signal as well okay now that's fine okay now if it is uh, the inverting circuit just by connecting the source with the negative terminal there is a input resistance over here and there one is the output uh, uh, feedback resistors uh, the gain of this overall amplifier was uh, actually the output to the input voltage that was equal to minus RF over R in now if we want to make this configuration into the non-inverting state we would like to connect this source with the positive input terminal of this operational amplifier and this can be easily done by removing the source from the negative terminal and connecting it directly with the ground terminal and placing this source voltage with the positive input terminal of the operational amplifier and we get this falling circuit okay now if you want to make or convert this circuit into the voltage follower circuit that means whatever the input voltage it will be responded in the same manner on the output side uh, now this one is the output terminal and uh, what you need to do 
you need to produce the gain that is equal to 1 just as we have mentioned it over here so we have the equation in the form of the resistances that are uh, showing the dependency of the feedback and the input resistance now what might uh, practically can be done to convert this conventional operational amplifier into this voltage amplifier and um, voltage follower amplifier third the one method is to uh, make this feedback resistance equal to zero okay when this is equal to zero so whatever the input resistance is the overall the gain will be approached toward the unity okay now the second uh, method is to do this is to tune the input resistance to lead equal to infinity now when this happens the whatever the term the in the numerator divided by the denominator it will become zero so once again we will be able to obtain the unit gain that is equal to one okay okay now in turning this uh, circuit into the voltage follower circuit what we actually do is very simple we just make this feedback resistance to short itself now you know then when I do this short it uh, the feedback resistance value will approach equal to zero when this happens now you can easily say that this thing is now uh, equal to this uh, if I take the ratio of this uh, RF to R ring it will be equal to zero okay so it's very simple ye bahut asaan si cheez hai to aap isko is diagram ke mutabik isko bahut easily isko modify kar sakte by just shorting this feedback resistance and connecting to the source with that of uh, your uh, uh, input you can easily obtain the uh, voltage following output so let's check it out uh, with respect to the LT spice all right now using this software LT spice I have just uh, taken the three different sources uh, three D sources one is used as an input voltage you can also use it uh, as a DC input or as a sinusoidal input voltage source okay now these two sources have been discussed in the previous la lab uh, as well that uh, you need uh, to bias the circuit one will be the positive voltage and other one will be the negative voltage and also keep in mind that your biasing voltage should be greater than the amplified output voltage if you want to avoid the saturation in your output voltage circuit okay now you can uh, you it's up to you that you can use a universal operation amplifier or you can use the LT1001 mm, uh, just for the sake of your information that there are uh, other than universal operation amplifier in the LT spice library as well so I've just uh, reconnected my circuit using the wire structure from uh, uh, by pressing the F3 or by using this uh, wire tool you can easily connect any of your uh, circuit path you want to produce and by using this uh, uh, delete button you can erase your extra wire like structures okay if you want to enter the properties of your voltage just uh, press go to the voltage source and press the right mm, click I have change my uh, voltage source to the sinusoidal or you can also use it at DC voltage if you click it on the non uh, none and enter the one volt value it's up to you and since it's uh, the sinusoidal and uh, the amplitude on the oscilloscope or the graph is also marked as one the frequency is 50 Hertz and there is no DC offset value in your voltage source just press the ok okay uh, uh, for this circuit uh, configuration it's actually uh, representing the inverting output because the voltage source is connected to the negative terminal of this operation amplifier 
and uh, since the value of the feedback resistance is zero that means you have shorted out so and uh, also i have uh, removed my input resistance from that source so whatever the value of the feedback if it is zero zero divided by any of the input resistance it will be once again zero now this whole circuit is representing as the voltage follower circuit now let's do a verification go to the simulation toolbar edit the simulation command and uh, there are different types of analysis since we are performing uh, uh, the transient analysis at this point we will uh, enter the 0.1 second at this pop time because our uh, frequency is 50 hertz so you can also calculate it uh, by doing the math 1 over uh, f is actually equal to the time and uh, according to that thing your time should be uh, greater than that this value uh, if your time uh, whatever the uh, 1 over 50 it will be uh, in the milliseconds so my stop time is 0 0.1 the simulation will be stopped at the 0 0.1 second so i hope so that there will be enough considerable amount of cycles to understand your simulation result okay just press the run button now when you do there will be a black graph over here and uh, if you move your cursor towards this uh, input line there will be a symbol into turning into the prop that is the voltage prop and if you want to current just move it on to that icon from through which you want to find the current the your uh, symbol will be changed into some sort of a meter and representing the sing series type symbol so we are now at this point concerned with the voltage input voltage just press it click it is uh, one volt input with the 50 hertz cycle and let's check it out the output now when i do that uh, it says uh, the output is same as that of the input so all both of them have been merged okay uh, let's check the input current it's over here and let's check the source current it's just like this so whatever you want to perform you can just do that by clicking on your respectable uh, components but for the sake of the second we are being just concerned with the our output voltage and if it is same as that of the input then it means that uh, our circuit is working as an voltage follower circuit now this one you can easily realize that it's having the same frequency and uh, the same amplitude so it means that our configuration is correct all right now just let us repeat the whole process by just uh, making the voltage follower configuration as the non-inverting voltage ampli voltage follower uh, circuit so for that purpose I have removed my source from the negative terminal and just have connected with the positive terminal and uh, since I've told you that you need to make the feedback resistance zero and uh, the second thing was uh, that you need to turn the input resistance to infinite now if you want to do that you need just uh, a very simple way is to keep it open from this location and uh, short this feedback thing over here so if you do that the uh, configuration it looks just like this and for your simplification uh, your previous circuit was uh, just by connecting this ground with this thing and it was uh, over here the source that was being removed and now it's it's that thing so there is uh, since there is a break point so this means the input resistance has been reached up to infinite you know theoretically and practical just like this by removing this whole part you can rerun this whole and you can uh, since it says an error because uh, the register is not having the value let's say the input resistance is 1k and just run it over here okay uh, this one is input 1 volt this one is the output this is blue and you can easily say that both have been synchronized 
the output voltage and the input voltage are being synchronized having the same amplitude same phase and same frequency so this makes it called as the voltage follower circuit so that was all about the today's uh, class i hope so that you have enjoyed if you have any question just do comment in that section below or you can also uh, email me that uh, the email have been provided in the below section okay thank you for watching this tutorial have a nice day